Hey, I am in my shop, my dirty shop that is full of a trampoline right now. That was a surprise Christmas present. I uh, think it would be cool. What I'm doing in here is I think it would be cool to check up on that worm bin I made. Man, it might have been over a year ago now. Um, and it was a video about how to keep it simple and just do it. Just make a worm bin and go. Got some hate for it because I kept it way too simple. I um, was shredding letters of plastic and stuff on them, shredding boxes of tape on it. You know, stuff you should tear off and not put in with your worms, but it's not the end of the world if you do, if you're just a, a home worm keeper um, doing worm compost. But if you are, if you do leave plastic and stuff on, which again, you shouldn't, I was just being quick and just showing that really you could just wing it and everything will be fine. Um, you should sift your vermicompost before you use it in your garden. You don't want to be adding microplastics. And so it does, no matter what, it, it, it does add an extra step. So I was, I guess I was wrong. Should have been taking everything off. Um, the whole point of that last video was just to show that, you know, don't be scared, just get started and, uh, just go for it. So here in my shop, we're going to open this bin and, um, yeah, I haven't looked at it in a while, so you guys are going to get to see what's going on in here. Just as me, I purposely didn't open it before this video. All right, it's dusty on top. I actually had some stuff. I have, over this last year, and especially the last couple months, um, I have been coming out here periodically. Because this is my bin that, I have big ones outside. Um, this is one that's kind of inside, it doesn't get as cold in here. So I have been coming out here and just lifting the lid and tossing some food in. And so is my wife and I think my kids sometimes. So they haven't been fed. But as for adding bedding, checking moisture, all that stuff. Yeah, going to get some hate for that, but I haven't done anything. These are very neglected worms um, as far as conditions go. So let's see how they're, how they're doing. Well, it looks like somebody fed them recently. A pineapple. Oh, there's worms everywhere. And for all the neglect, they sure seem okay. Wow, that's a lot of potworms though. Look at that, I'll go on this one. Tons of potworms. Dang, that's a lot. Looks like we got some roots growing. That's kind of fun. Oh, let's see what's under the pineapple, that's always. Holy cow. Man, pumpkin seeds. So Halloween, someone came out with a bowl of pumpkin guts and poured that in. Can't remember if it was me. All right, I'm going to mix this up a little bit and just see. I'm going to, oh, I'll mix up one side over here and we'll see what's going on. It hasn't been turned or anything since I set it up. This has just been stuff just going on top. Turn this back on because that is not mold or roots. That is a mass. A mass of uh I want to focus on it potworms look at that that is absolutely incredible yeah that's a oh my gosh they're all over that pineapple they love oh my gosh look at them down in there piles so this would be considered too many potworms Got a lot of questions like, how oh, much is too many? Especially on my potworm video. Oh my gosh. They're all over these hot dogs. That's funny, hot dogs ended up in here. And the pineapple. Oh man. Amazing. There's a nice, uh, hope none of you guys are eating. Look at that. Yeah, so this would be considered too many potworms, maybe. But they don't seem to be out competing. Oh, that, look at that. That watermelon is just paper. Um, got some kale in there. That looks pretty recent. My wife must have been adding that. Yeah, pine, that pineapple is just completely gone. Um, for as many potworms as there are, oh my gosh, the whole ground is just moving. But like, we got fat, healthy worms, too. Like, they're... So there's too many potworms in here, but they're not out competing um, my, my compost worms, which I think this is a mix of red wigglers and 
probably some European night crawlers. Um, cause they came from outside bins, which is a mix of worms. There's really no single species, but holy cow, I've never seen so many potworms in one of my bins. Look at the uh, amount of potworms that are on that hot dog. It must just be kind of the, the briny saltiness of it that they like. That is just, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Can't really get a good focus once I do. Zoom out. Sorry, making everybody car sick, motion sickness. So many. Yeah, they were all eating on that hot dog. So it looks like, yeah, that's probably why they're not out competing is because they got their favorite things. There was no other worms on that, just pot worms. So still not good. Got to take care of it. Gonna, um, I guess this video will become showing what to do about pot worms. That's, that's fun. People will want to know how to get rid of them, even though, so most, I should probably, I should definitely lower the number at least per capita, I guess is the right term of pot worms in here. But you got to remember, there's still worms that are eating. They're still eating, decomposing stuff. They're making vermicompost, just not big fat castings like we like with the other types of worms. Um, another cool thing I wanted to point out, I'm sure some people already noticed, is when we made this, there was very little dirt um, or soil or vermicompost from the other bins. It was a tiny bit, came in with the worms, and we, it was mostly bedding that we started with. And you can kind of recognize some of the bedding but it's all gone like it's all changed color it's i mean they've completely used it up and so this is really moist really really wet in here yeah so man this is really wet um that's part of the reason why there's so many pot worms so i'm gonna prep some bedding be right back all right so prepped a bunch of bedding boom right here cardboard some paper towel, um, mostly, mostly cardboard. So I'm gonna mix that in. Uh, so potworms, I got an infestation. Awesome, per great opportunity. Um, first thing we're gonna try, I mean, obviously this is a pretty acidic environment because I have pineapple in there and I'm sure some orange peels have been added and who knows what. I mean, it's mostly kitchen waste that comes into here. But the worms don't seem to mind. So I'm not gonna worry too much about pH um, that is probably part of the reason why there's so many potworms though. But the main reason I'm, I'm going to work on first is the moisture content. This is a swamp. I mean, it's just a boggy mess down in there. Way too much moisture. Um, you could tell just by, just by flipping it around, it's sticking to my, my little, uh, tool here and just not falling off it really easy. So I'm going to mix in all this cardboard and then we'll come back in a few days and kind of see how things look. Probably still going to have a lot of potworms. They don't really die off that fast, but we'll see just kind of what the other worms are doing. You know, we'll be able to tell if the, uh, the environment's better for them or not by how they act. Forgot. I should have checked the uh, bottom too. And it's what's I like to see is there's no, um, other worms down here besides potworms and they can come down here and drown as much as they want. The only problem is they don't, oh, my shadow's in the way. they don't really drown really easy. The, uh, those ones you see in the water down there are very much alive. Um, those are all very much alive, but they struggle to get back into the bin. So I'm fine with them coming down here and disappearing and getting lost. So that's good. But, and there's, what's weird, as wet as that was, there's not very much water down in here. Pretty odd. Okay, so I added a ton of bedding. I should have shredded it smaller, um, but it'll work. And I lightly damped it down, only because there wasn't enough super wet material in there to really mix in and, and get this stuff uh, moistened. So I just lightly, lightly put a little bit of water on it, not a ton. Um, and then I went and I wiped down my copper tape with a paper towel uh, because the only thing I've noticed the copper tape is eventually it gets dust and dirt and grime on it just because from them them trying to cross it and then um, they eventually it's like useless but you wipe it down 
I mean, it takes one pass and now it's kind of back to normal. I don't know if you noticed during the earlier filming that there wasn't very many, you could, you would be able to see like castings on the wall, but nothing really up past this. Um, obviously you look at the lid, worms are making it to the lid, but not in a ton. I mean, my past bins before I started using the copper tape trick would basically be just completely covered in worm castings from them living and crawling up there. These have been living inside here and apparently thriving because I did not put as many worms in here as there are now. That's awesome to see. And um, apparently, uh, unfortunately, potworms are also thriving. So we'll see. Um, I was going to say I'm going to come back in a couple of days and check this. I'm actually going to post this video and set a reminder on my phone for in a month to come check this. And that way I won't forget because... I know some of my past videos I'm supposed to do an update, um, I either forget or something goes wrong and the update becomes un impossible to make. So I set an alarm. In a month, we're going to come check this. I'm just going to go back to neglecting it. And uh, we'll come back. We'll do a quick update video. Maybe I'll even bring the uh, microscope out and we'll see what's going on in here. I should have done that today. Dang it. I screwed that up. Um, yeah, we'll see what's living in there. We'll definitely be able to see if there's if there's um, this many potworms as there's this as there was this time. Man, I'm struggling tonight. It's late. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely be able to see that. But we'll bring out the the microscope and see what else is going in here. Because one thing I noticed, I didn't notice very many mites. I thought there would be a ton of mites in here, and there I didn't. I mean, with my naked eye, I didn't see any. Usually, you can see them, but I didn't see any this time. But with the microscope, that'll tell us if they're in there or not. Since it's mostly kitchen waste, I imagine there's not very many being brought in on anything, so we'll see. All right, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe to catch the second part of this, I guess. I mean, why not? If you're watching and not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the button.